Okay, what is up guys? We are here with this $260 Amazon motor and we're gonna see if it works. Because if it works, that's dope because it's the cheapest motor on Amazon and the reviews were very mixed. There was like a five star, four star, and then a one star. And yeah, so I just got it. It's $260 and that's what it looks like. And I'll leave the link for the motor in my description. Okay guys, so before we start it, I wanna go over what you have to do when you get this motor. So the motor comes exactly like this. It comes like fully assembled, but you need to put in gear oil, grease, and you have to mix the oil and gas. So you put gear oil, you have to take off this propeller right here. There's a pin holding it on. You have to take it off and then there's another pin inside that you have to take off and then two bolts and you take those off and then you fill the whole thing up with 90 weight grease oil or 90 weight oil gear oil gear oil and then what you're gonna have to do next is you're gonna have to come over to the side right where the grease well knob thing is grease uh, input and you're gonna have to get a grease gun that fits this and you're gonna have to put just pretty much any grease you're gonna have to put grease in it and then you're gonna have to mix the oil and gas and that so the motor comes with this mixer pretty much and you're supposed to mix it 35 to 1 so 35 part gas one part oil and it, i believe it's 10 weight 40 oil or something and then just you fill fill um i, I don't have enough hands here but you fill up the oil thing like pretty much the whole way and then you fill up the gas which is what I did up to like the top of the square and then I just mix it and just make sure you shake it before you put it in your motor and then you should be all set to start it so we'll start it now. <laughs> okay guys so we're gonna start this motor. What you're gonna need to do is there's a button to the left of it it's kind of like a squishy like right underneath this like gear there's a squishy button to prime it so you're gonna want to prime it a bunch of times and you can hear the like oil and gas going through and you just want to prime it a bunch so we're still priming it okay now when you're done priming it you're gonna want to leave it and off which sounds weird but it's like the only way i've been able to start it so you're gonna want to lean it and leave it and off and then this is also weird but you want to turn the throttle and then it'll stay turned pretty much because it kind of sticks and then you can start it pretty much oh okay we're gonna try this again then take it off off and then Okay guys, so we just finished up. We boated like four miles down the river and then four miles back. And well, we have some mixed reviews about the motor. So it started out really well and it's just a little hard to start, but you can get started. And then it started cutting out a lot in and out, but we assume that's just because I didn't put enough gas in because on the way back I put in more gas and it stopped cutting in and out and it handled pretty well through weeds but we went like four miles downstream and the motor itself got really hot and it wouldn't start and the primer wasn't working so we let it cool we let it cool all the way down and we paddled a little back and once it got cooled all the way down, the primer started working again, and then we got it started again, and we were able to boat like 15 minutes straight all the way back. 
and it didn't cut out at all until the end but we think that's because um it was running out of gas but overall this motor is really good for 260 dollars it's a 3.5 horsepower um but i wouldn't recommend it if you're using it to boat around if you're using it for fishing and it won't get too hot because you're just going from place to place and then using a trolling motor or even paddling like just around while you fish then it works perfectly it'll get you out there the like mile or so however far you need to go if it's further than like four miles i wouldn't get this but if you're only on like small lakes and ponds then this is perfect especially for 260 dollars and the link is in my description and i'll keep you guys updated on if anything happens to it or if it just keeps doing pretty well peace